Hi guys, welcome back to day two of the five day Stop and Tide trek to Machu Picchu. If you didn't watch the video I made before this, stop watching this, go watch that because this is a sequence. This is a series of what you can expect from all five days leading up to Machu Picchu. If you're more interested in the overall experience, I also made a video about this. I'll link it above. It'll get you really excited about doing this trek. So anyways, as I mentioned, this is going to be the hardest day of our entire trek as we hike five hours up to Salkantai Pass and then another four hours down. So get ready. We're gonna start back at our campsite at Soria Pampa at 12,700 feet. Good morning guys. It is day two here on the Salkantai trek. We are about to hike 600 meters until we get to our next stopping port. We'll have lunch. It's gonna be really cold. I'm wearing like five layers because there's, we're probably gonna end up walking through snow. And yeah, I think this is gonna be the hardest day because we're literally going straight up. And then after that, it should get a lot warmer. Still excited. Oh, what a day to be alive. What a dream to have a heartbeat. So if you look way over here into the mountain, you can actually see the mules on top. So high up. Here. So what's nice about this trek is that you don't actually have to bring your big backpack with you. So it's kind of cheating when it comes to backpacking. I just have this small little bag that I have my cameras in because our stuff is actually carried on mules. But There. <laughs> I don't think you're good at getting their attention. <laughs> you know, a lot of people coming to Peru might think, why do the Salkantai Trail? Why not the Inca Trail, the one that's most famous? Well, for starters, the Salkantai is a lot less crowded and it's so peaceful. You get to move at your own pace, you get to push your body, you get to see the most incredible scenery and it's just amazing. The Incas even considered Salkantai to be one of the principal deities controlling weather and fertility in the region west of Cusco. Even though it's not the Inca Trail, it's still very important. We've been really lucky because it's actually quite hot out, but there's so much snow in the mountains right here, and we were told that to pack as much gear as we could because it's potentially be really cold and lots of snow on the ground. It's actually all dirt. And this is so beautiful. I just keep thinking of Lord of the Rings. Like, this looks like all the sets in New Zealand. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. We finally made it to the highest point of this trek. It's really high in altitude here, but it's so beautiful. Can you tell us what you're drinking? This is agua de coco. Agua de coco, Agua de coco. Really? It's very sweet. It's not alcohol. No, no alcohol. It's I think it's one, one, No, no, it's just one go, one go. Come on. A shot? Yeah, one go. Tell me what it is, Morgan. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's booze. Ah, <laughs> liar. Liar. <laughs> we are celebrating with the mountains. I'm gonna get drunk see, up here. See, see, the water is pure, right? Yeah, but it's it not agua. the mountain. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Salud, chante. Salud. Chin chin. Uchayman, urayman, yaupima, uchuman. Yes, sacred water. Oh. Let's get it on. Oh my god, there's a the Where? Donde? The name Salkantai in Quechua means savage mountain. In other words, it's natural, it's untamed, and it's wild. It means you don't like. You're, you're refusing the... I'm already drunk. Are you refusing <laughs> the gift from God? I am refusing the gift from God. I prefer the cocoa gift. You're mean to God. <laughs> so much to give. Understand me, sure. So Morgan's building an apacheta. It means that she's saying thanks for good conditions to arrive on the mountain. 
Cute! Bueno. Welcome to Peru, Uchiwako! In the track. It's great. Very good. Very nice. It's uh, first first track for us, but it's going pretty well so far. So, where are you guys from? Holland, France. 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 Where? Yeah. Je parle français. Oui, oui. You don't. You're not from France. No, he's not. No, he's not. I read your accent's not French. No, <laughs> All right, we've been hiking now for six hours. We just stopped to get some lunch, also some tea. It's funny because every time they serve you tea, they also put cocoa leaves in it, so you can put it inside your tea and then it helps with the altitude sickness. Always eating cocoa leaves. Salud for the cocoa leaves. Salud for the cocoa leaves. Chin chin. Ost. While we've been struggling hiking up and down this mountain, our personal chefs are like hours ahead of us, ready with lunch, this extravagant warm meal right when we arrive. And no, they don't live in the local village. They don't have a car taking them here. They too are hiking the mountain that we are hiking and yet they are so much faster than us, so fast they get there in time to cook it. So when we arrive, we just sit down and eat. That's just nuts. What is that? Yuca. Yuca. Ah. That's a lindo. Te gusta caminar? Sí, mucho me sí. gusta caminar, sí. Porque es mucho. <laughs> Here we go. It's now and never take me home. Let's go together. So now we are entering into the jungle and it is a completely different landscape, which is so cool. Before it was like winter. Now I think it's fall, you think it's what? Spring. It's spring, okay. It's very jungly. Yeah, very green. Not as cold. Apparently in these high jungles is like where drug dealers will be uh, growing their cocaine because nobody can tell in the forest. And they'll actually walk with their bags like full of cocaine and like walk to get it out and sell it. It's just pretty crazy, but I guess it makes sense. We're determined to go find the drug lords, make a video about it. So this is one of the houses for the people who live on the trail to promote tourism and they've got this whole little thing here. So now we've officially gone from winter to fall to spring and now it's summer. It's really hot. How are you feeling Morgan? I'm really hot. How are you feeling Ugo? I'm melting. You're melting. So just earlier today we were way over there where that mountain is. I don't know how long we've been hiking for, but I'm definitely very exhausted. I'm ready for, ready for my nap. Hallelujah! <laughs> Is this our campsite? Yeah. Yay! Ah, cool. Half an hour more. Really? Oh. Yay! We have reached base camp, which looks like paradise right now. It's been nine hours of hiking and we're gonna be staying in these tents above here. So excited to relax. Cheers! Cheers. We're probably gonna be drunk after this. Mm -hmm. And there's actually Wi-Fi at this place and I'm literally updating my drone because it had some issues. I'm so excited there's Wi-Fi. And there's charging ports. And this is gonna die, so good time to charge. All right, my camera battery did in fact die, but you didn't really miss much. This concludes day two on the Sakantai Trek. We started at Soripampa at 12,700 feet, summited at Sakantai Pass at 15,000 feet, and then we dropped down to our new campsite at Chao Le at 9,800 feet, which is a lot lower than Cusco, where we started, which was around 11,000 feet. Total distance travel today is 14 miles or 22 kilometers, which is about nine hours of hiking. Hardest part is over, how do you feel? My feet hurt. Yeah? I'm tired. Better than that, I'm good. I feel like my whole body just kind of wrecked, but I am excited that the hardest part is over and I think it'll just get better from here. And tomorrow we are going to be doing more hiking day three. Obviously this trek is all about hiking, but we will be ending at a natural hot spring. So pretty excited for that. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you will come back to see it. Bye. Morgan. I made a new friend. Aww.
my god. You each rolled all over me. <laughs> Gross. 